the mini sky hunter right here and the nano talon right there were returned to the flight rotation today there are the two dragon link platforms and i made great progress with dragon link in the past two days the nano talons just waiting to be flown again it's a crossfire platform the sky hunter full-size sky hunter down there i have one little repair to make on it just that little speak uh yeah the microphone i added to it i've got to sort her back up then these two need to be maidened and these two just need to be reflown. I didn't take pictures of what I did on the Dragon Link, but let me show you on my computer what I did. So I'm really sorry I didn't take any actual photos, etc., of what I did. It's been a long three or four days around here. I've been really working hard to get Dragon Link running with the help of some people. It took me almost 90 days. But I do have Dragon Link now working with telemetry and control link with a USB cable from the transmitter to the uh, ground control station computer. And with the basic firmware through Wi Fi to the ground control. I cannot get the beta firmware that's supposed to be so much better uh, working. But Somewhere in shipment right now, I'm told, is a second transmitter for me to test. Dragon Link was nice enough to send one out for me to test against this one and then send it back, whatever. Uh, I hope to buy it, but after I use it for testing, I'll have to ask them what they're want done. So I have been connecting the receivers up on these four pins right here. In the case of CRSF, when it needs to transmit and receive, I've been using TX and RX6. When it was SBUS, I was only using RSX6. Um, with Dragon Link, I had both the receivers in the Mini Talon and the Mini Sky Hunter across these three pins. Well, I've learned in the past three or four days that's a problem. Not so much when the Dragon Link receiver is working at low power as when it gets to higher powers, even towards one watt. Because this voltage right here can only support a max of 500 milliamps. And that will not support that one watt of power. I could stop and do the calculation real quick and tell you at what milliamps it will start browning out. So what I have done with both the Mini Talon and Mini Sky Hunter Dragon Link platforms is I'm only now using this RX6 pin for SBUS. I do not have this voltage and this ground connected. Instead, I took these two wires from the servo uh, rails, ground here and the voltage here. I don't remember which one I plugged it into. I think it was eight actually. So I'm picking up ground and voltage over here instead of here. And it's the same way on the 743 wing in the Mini Sky Hunter. The layout of the two are virtually the same. Okay, I just lied to you. In the H743 in truth, because it has ports, uh, RC channels 11 and 12 right here. I took the ground and VX from here, whereas on the 765 wing, which is just a little bit different, it does have 11 and 12 there, but it's just the signal. And you have to pick up your 
ground and voltage elsewhere on the 765, whereas the 743, these three pins and these three pins are actually uh, servos 11 and 12. So on the 765 in the Mini Talon, I took it from right here on the servo rails. Ground and voltage, and on the H743 wing V2, I actually took it from these two pins. And that's getting into the uh, these the voltage supplied to the servo rails, as you can see right here. This VX voltage is capable of eight amps continuous and ten amps peak on the uh, seven four three. Let's see if we can find it for the uh, 765. Oh boy, here it is. Oh, it's the same 8 amps continuous and 10 amps max. 8 amps continuous, 10 amps max. So, that's a whole lot more amperage available for that Dragon Link transmitter when it ramps up to one watt of power. Uh, if we see here, the 4V5 on the 743 is just like the 765 max, 500 milliamps. So on the 743 here, I have the signal to the Dragon Link going here, and I'm picking up the voltage for it over here now instead of here because of current requirements. On the Mini Talon F765, I've got signal here on this one pin, and I'm picking up ground and voltage over here so I can get into that higher amperage voltage. Uh, now, as far as Dragon Link and telemetry is concerned, like I say, I have the extreme fallback of hooking up a USB cable to the transmitter and to the ground station, and telemetry works fine. With the basic firmware for the Dragon Link transmitter and receiver, Wi Fi works okay, I'm not sure and neither have been range tested. But I've gotten a whole lot farther in the past three to five days with a lot of work and a lot of help from a lot of people to get that all up and running. Again, I can't get the beta, the really, really whiz-bang Dragon Link firmware to work, but again, there's a transmitter someplace in shipping between Arizona and here. I expect it to come in next week. Now, next Tuesday, I'll also in for my last consultation for the cataract surgery. And if that surgeon decides he agrees with the surgery and wants to go forward with it, I don't know when he'll schedule it. That'll put a hiccup in my work for several days after they do the surgery while my eyes heal up. I'm hoping to get that transmitter in the mail, get it compared against the transmitter I have, get something done with it sent back, purchased, whatever happens with it ultimately before the surgery. So we're kind of up against the gun here. But that's kind of what I've been busy with the past hmm, week, five days to a week. So I did modify the two platforms in that way. And because I can get them telemetry with them with the USB cable at the bare minimum, uh, I do have now four platforms. I put the two platforms with the Dragon Blink link back in the flight status today for flying the Mini Sky Hunter to Maiden, the Mini Talon to finish tuning, the Nano Talons basically been tuned. I'm going to tune it again, and the Sky Hunter has one last little thing to do before it gets Maiden. So the weather around here has just been atrocious lately. If it's not cold, it's windy. So 
uh, it's uh, third week of February almost. Uh, March, we can have hold here all the way to the end of March. But I fully expect April and beyond to be good flying weather, and I'll be doing lots of flying. Uh, but between now and the end of March, there's some, both eyes have to have surgery on them. So I don't know how long that recuperation is, and I don't know how long uh, I will be unable to fly. Uh, I've just not been through that surgery yet. Okay, that's just a little update on what's been going on around here. Thank everyone. I thank you very much.